Hi everybody, Farat Alive here with another Keyforge video. This is another one of my games training using the CD-ROM method with the chef that moves conclaves. You can check out my video on what the CD-ROM method is, um, the deck that I'm using, and my initial thoughts on using the CD-ROM method. Um, but this is just a video of one of the games I've played with it. Some of them have commentary, some of them don't have commentary. Uh, some of them are from various streams I've been on, so some of the commentary may uh, not fit. But I just wanted to put up uh, all the games, as many of the games as I could that I've recorded, uh, to give people an idea how the deck's playing. Um, and you can watch as it evolves over time, and hopefully I am improve with it so this is another one of those videos if you like it please do hit the like button please subscribe to my youtube channel for loads of great keyforge content including more um, of me using this deck and training and practicing with it using the cd rom method i also stream on twitch at Fororata live so follow me there if you want to see me playing some of these games live now on with the video so just sort of starting to get to know it a bit better i'm going to be going first in this game And I'm up against another Worlds Collide deck, Dis, Star Alliance, Untamed. Looks nice. Arthur Illosco Duca della Aria. Nasty Dis, including a collar. Red Alert. Key Charge. Unnatural Selection. Okay. Um, I'm going to keep that hand. And I'm going to go... Let's go straight out with some strong star alliance. So star alliance seems to be the core um, core of this deck really in terms of um, keeping it going. That's certainly what I found the first few games. If I can get the star alliance running, um, Karkar, -Kar, Morpheus, Zap, then um, it is really, really, really strong. So let me see how do I want to run this. This is a really great start. Big, big, big suite of starter lines. So I'm going to reap. I'm on five amber with four creatures in play, three warded. Um, that's a really strong start, and I've played that my whole hand. <laughs> yeah. So my opponent said, not bad. Um, so I'm there saying, yep, yep. Oh, Mustak Mamook, deal four to a creature, ouch. So I think that Kirby's gone, yep. Still think I'll be going Star Alliance. Play 
and left. see how they do yeah so very strong star aligned start I guess now I'm going to want a cool star aligned so um, my hand's pretty jammed up could get the Logos out um, they've got no artifacts for me to use ok they're going with Untamed nature's cool Okay, so let's see what they send back, or are they just going to get rid of my wards? Okay, and then the Mamut can come down, and he'll get double effect from that, that's nice. and an unnatural selection so Ingram goes yep ok still get to forge so maybe I do go Logos because um, it's left me with the two weakest Star Alliance cards um, and I know I've got some, some all star Star Alliance stuff still to come So I think I'll put Vellum next to Crash Muldoon. Which would allow me to use her on a Star Alliance turn in the future. Put Hide on the left. Discombobulator onto uh, Remote Access. There's nothing to use but just for the Amber. Pass the turn. Star Alliance. This deck doesn't really seem to want to do fighting. Um, it's got some, it's got some uh, Saurians in there if I need to, um, but so far not really had to use it. It's got three stomps, so use that to kind of pick off key creatures. Are they going to be able to get into check? They will be able to get into check. Ouch. So the Felum gone. I've got to get rid of that Morpheus really. Um, and there goes Crash. So I can capture one. Yep, so let's go Star Alliance. Play the Kirby on the right. Stomp the Morpheus. Reap. 
to capture one. Text them off check, um, I'm on six, so still a key up. Um, let's see. Okay. Another Kirby. Don't think they've really got any steel in this deck, so. Yeah, not feeling like I particularly need to. Um, get the discombobulators out. They've got another Mamook that could come. Not seen any dis. They should be gonna go have a massive dis turn at some point. In fact I don't think they've played any dis at all. Okay here we go. Zoom to put Morpheus back out. Rock Grub, nasty with the uh, nasty with the Morpheus. So that's a nice play with Exum. Frame goes. Hmm. So they're at nine. the Kirby's stomp the um, Morpheus and put out the golden spiral I guess Well, the golden spiral or getting the get the discombobulator out because it gets me into check, I think. Okay, and I've drawn a load of uh, a load of saurians there. I mean, you can get me off check with the dis. That's for sure. Hmm. So yeah, I've found um, a couple of games I've played with this deck so far. It's really fast. It's got very little amber control. Really, the Xeno Training Star Alliance card is pretty much its only amber control. It's it's almost like a racing deck in that regard. It's just got to get ahead quicker. Um, Grey. So they've archived key charge. And I take it they're going to take out that Kirby. So I get to my second key. So it's definitely the right call playing the discombobulator there. Um, 
Tempted to get rid of the Lilithol. Yeah, okay. So I'm either having a big sorry in turn or I get the, uh, the Logos out. But my three stomps have gone through, which are my kind of big removal. With the Philophosauruses, I could probably actually cycle through everything. Okay, now he's got rid of one. The Mimig's gone, okay, so we're down to six. Well, I think they're going for it. They've got their key charge. So two keys each, they've used their key charge. So I'll play Saurians. Reap. Uh, archive. Probably. Turn that vapors. Add Imperium to hand. So that's nice. Uh, then I'll probably put down play this Tricerian Legionary on the right. Ward it. Reap. Play the Draco Proco. On the right, might as well. I think I'll put the wards on my amber. Flophosaurus, reap, get the effect, and archive, walls, put the auxiliary in hand, so play that out, 
Nice. So I'm on check uh, with a monster saurian turn, and I've even got a stomp, so that's really nice. Really nice, actually. Um, or I can go. Ah, oh, no. They concede. They conceded. Um, so they obviously couldn't get me off check, which is a bit odd. Thought they had a rock grub to come. I know they used a rock grub. They never got their collar out. Um, Harbinger of Doom, Buzzle. They did use their. Did use their team. Um, so a few cards we never saw from them. So I turned through my deck um, completely. They still had 11 to draw. So yeah, definitely a playing out quite quickly this deck, which is kind of what I saw. I think in terms of how that match went, yeah, Star Alliance really strong. They managed to get it off the table. Uh, those stomps, super important. They are pretty much my creature removal. Um, I've either I've got to get the big Saurians out on the board to do some kind of fighting. Um, getting out, getting that Morpheus off the table was pretty important. Um, so yeah, I think that that was um, yeah good games. So that was the sort of third game with this.